Generic greetings, and welcome back to Prison Architect once again. In the previous episode, we put a massive slab of concrete down and then realised we were going to run out of power, hence the new power station and capacitors, which we are now going to connect to the expansion part of the prison. In this episode, I want to get this done, which is going to be another cell block, cell block A, B, C, D, E, F, G, cell block G. And obviously that'll give us more prisoners, which allows us to gain more money in the long term because of our cash flow problem, and in general we'll just progress on. We might even go for a workshop at some point, but probably not this episode because it's going to take quite a while. Let's just max speed this out and we'll wait for the workmen to finish off building this thing here. We just need to go to deployment here and staff only. Yep, it is just double checking there. Just make sure it is actually staff only. We also do need to put in some guard patrols around here and here, which is where we're going to have the... Uh well, we're going to have the other cell block, but it's probably best if I... Oh, no, I can see. It's okay. I was going to say it's probably best if I wait until I can see past the um, the guard tower plan, but you can actually see only... Well, you can only just see it there. Yeah, it is there. It's very, very difficult to see, but you can see it. So we're just going to expand this like so, and this is going to be the same as that one. Yeah, that's fine. And then we need one, two guards like that. We need a dog patrol on the left, and then an arm guard on the right, which I think we've actually ran out of. We only have, I believe it is five arm guards. Let's have a just quick look here in staff. It is six arm guards. So actually that is right maxed out now. So what we probably want to do is get another row of guard lockers in here, and then we'll be able to put some more arm guards down. But that's a futures problem. This is just a... Um, we don't really need this, what we're doing here. Um, not at the moment, anyway, because obviously we haven't got uh, people for this part. But... Um we will get them eventually, so might as well do it while we were doing nothing else. But we do have a couple of things to build now, so we're going to shove in the shower area like that, and obviously you need to go to utilities, and then to water boiler, and then put a water boiler right in the centre. Extremely similar to this. It's so similar, in fact, that it's identical, because, you know, we are copying the same design. That is fine. Uh, a couple of people have been mentioning about um, guys running up and down here, um, obviously getting gear and then coming back, have said that the best way to fix that would be to put a metal detector across here. You are right, because a lot of people do come through here, but firstly, um, they don't have to go up here to get stuff thrown in. They can do it from any corner of the... or any side of the facility, so it's not just a... It's not just a thing that's uh, only happening up here, but you can see it is happening quite a lot. Let's just uh, search the prisoner and you. We can search that prisoner as well. And also, the metal detectors, for a start, will require a lot of power and money to place, obviously. But also, on top of all of that, the stuff they might be bringing in, uh, it might not be metal detectorable. That's a word now. Uh, it's because it, it could be like some cigarettes or something like that, so it might just have the smelly traits. So that means they will have to have uh, dog patrols, which we do have anyway. So, yeah, it's not really a uh, high priority at the moment of uh, trying to resolve that because it isn't really a... Isn't really a, well, it is an issue, but it's one of those things that if I, if I do everything I can up the top there, it's just not going to work out in the long term. All right, let's just assign some people like that. Uh, simply because that if if I'm st if I'm searching them going through here, then they are just gonna get it from elsewhere. Not say I'm not gonna do it, but just not at the moment. Understand? Anyway, the danger level was rising and actually is rising. Let's have a quick look. Sorry, we've got the needs. You can see there's a massive, massive clothing need for some reason, um, but it's only on high. It's not on critical yet. But there is a very high clothing need. Let's just have a quick look at deployment. And actually, it's not in deployment now. It's in logistics and prison labor. Yes, people are assigned to the laundry. A lot of people are assigned there. So I don't know why there is that need. There's also a taser going off there. Um, you can see a lot of the other needs like comfort and such is all going down. Um, or rather need for comfort, not uh, being comfortable. Uh, that's all going down. Uh, we've had a death, which is... Oh, this is uh, prisoner James Schaefer. Um, prisoner number 18997... Four, six, and dead because they are a snitch. Because I didn't check the latest intake. Oh, well. Uh, let's have a quick look in... Intelligence informant. Uh, there's a snitch looking around. Can't see any other. There's a cop killer. So that's going to be difficult for us to deal with if they uh, start fighting because the, the guards just don't stop essentially. And yeah, that's about it. We do need to get the solitary area up here done. Sorry, not the solitary, the uh, protective custody. I am leaning towards putting another protective custody area in, but that's a future us problem. So what I'm going to do is just go down and get... Well, we do need to put these in, all these cells, so I might then just go to quick build clone and we'll just start cloning this thing. This is actually the better way of doing it, I believe, so you just do that, because you can get a bigger area 
instead of doing one side and then the other. So this should do is, let's just unpause it while it cracks on. Uh, it would be nice to do a shakedown again, but with all of the building that we're going to be doing here, I just don't think it's going to work out. Uh, we also need to put the uh, the, the underfloor um, electricity and other things in as well, so we'll sort that. We'll run some pipes and cables and other such things. So, big pile of trucks backing up here. We will be expanding this road gate and the uh, the other stuff to the top here eventually, but at the moment, we're just going to... Oh my good grief, look at the state of that. That is absolutely insane. Look at that. It just goes forever. We should probably expand the deliveries area. Let's go to rooms. Deliveries. Get rid of this export. And let's expand the delivery area like that. We will put an exports area in. It's just going to be a little bit down the bottom. And now, as you can see, when the trucks are parked here, they are actually taking it and dropping it off there, so the trucks are going to disappear a lot faster. This only really becomes a problem when you have... Why is there no body... Look at that. There's no guards available. That's interesting. It's because we've got so many, so many patrolling, I think. Uh, staff morale is always at... Uh, currently is at 38% as well, which is... Quite terrifying. Why is it at 38%? There's a massive food need and warmth need. Is food not getting fulfilled? No, food is getting fulfilled, as you can see. It's it's fine. That's it. That is interesting. I don't know why it was so low. Hmm. It's going up now. Serious complaints. Look at that. That's interesting. Uh, got a bit of violence over here. Looks like this one's been knocked out. He's volatile, so that's understandable why that happened. Yeah, why is there such a high food need? There's food there and there's food there, but there's no serving trays. There's loads of serving trays there. Is it because we just don't have enough? We might not just... I think it might just be a, a, a staffing problem. Let's just get four more cooks and hopefully that'll fix the issue. Because it looks like there's loads of dirty trays there. So maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. Obviously we had three eat times very recently. So perhaps that is what has impacted this thing. It's slowly going up anyway. So I'm not really too worried about... Uh, not really too worried about that. I also don't know why we have line of sight inside there. I mean, we don't now, but uh, we did. So anyway. Looks like... Yeah, no food trays. No food trays at all. Deployment, staff only. It is staff only, so it is classed as a staff canteen. Right, okay. Um, food distribution is assigned, as you can see. Oh, good grief, that's... Yeah, that's some assignment. <laughs> Look at that. That's, yeah, some lines. And they are collecting the trays. They are collecting the trays, but they're just not washing them. This is the same old bug that we've had for a long time. So, what is the solution? Well, I think that stack of dirty stuff there, we're going to dump it. And then we'll prioritise it. And what will happen is the workmen will come in, they'll dump it, and then we'll order a new set of trays. Soon, TM. There we go, there's some empty... Oh, there we go, we've now got some trays going on there and people are starting to eat. Yeah, but now it's run out again. Okay. Mm. It could just be a staffing issue. I mean, they're cleaning them as fast as they possibly can. Look, we've got, we've got three chefs, three cooks, just scrubbing away furiously for their lives. But they're just not delivering it in here. So, is it more chefs? Hmm. No, they all seem to be working on there. Look, there's, there's a couple of stacks here. Don't know what the solution is. Really don't know what the solution is, actually. Because, look, they're bringing loads of, of this. But they, yeah, but they're stacking it in here. They're not taking it here. Which is the same problem as we've had previously in the last build. Hmm. Anyway, 
it looks like this place up here is pretty much sorted. So what we're going to do is run some electrical cables straight in like so. Um, we don't need to follow the same design as this with this little split off because, well, you just don't need it. Um, obviously, we do need to run the hot and cold water. So we'll do that and we'll get some water in there because you really, really, really don't want... Whatever you've put in the toilet to just sit there and fester. Ugh. So we're going to get flush that away as hard and as fast as possible. And just dump it out at sea or something. Or maybe treat it first. I don't know. I'm not a sewage operative. Uh, right, so I don't know what you would call people who work in a sewage plant. Um, probably in need of a shower, actually. But anyway, uh, so scrubbing away there in the kitchen. Just checking to see. Yeah, they are, they're definitely dropping all... Oh my good grief, look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of dirty, dirty trays there. There's loads. Okay, new plan. We are going to go to dismantle object and dismantle all of those. We'll prioritize that. And what we're going to do is put a... Um, where is it? A sink in here. And then, just from the, for the corner, we'll put a bin or something. Because we can. Um, like that. Alright. We'll prioritise that. So, hopefully that will make make it so that they actually wash... ...the stuff closer to source. And that will might fix it. It might fix it. Yeah, it looks like it's a staffing issue, actually. Hmm. There we go. There's 20 cooks. So that's double what I've had previously. See, at night, this isn't going to be a problem because they've got several hours of... That's not good. Uh, power surge has caused the generator to explode. Yes, yes it has. Uh, thank you for pointing this out. Okay, so we have, well, as you can see, a slight issue. Um, something we should probably deal with sooner rather than later because... Oh, yeah, the, the, the power is completely out everywhere. Okay, so we need to go over to emergency services and call in the fire brigade. I'm only going to call in the one because I'm a big cheapskate. And as you can see, it's going to just dash along this side. I'm going to manually open that door because I need to get the fire brigade in soon as possible. Well, then, oh, I was going to say I'll click on them and I will uh, manually fire the hose, but uh, I don't need to because they are, well, they were doing it automatically, but I'm just going to shift them just a bit closer. And as you can see, we're just going to spray that there. And I'm sure that uh, having having water sprayed all over the capacitors in the power generator is in no way going to affect its performance later on down the line. Because that's what you want. You want your water just seeping into all of the contacts and around different things. And then when you turn it on, oh, you get flash over. And then, uh, yeah, when you're dealing with that sort of voltage and whatnot, an amperage, yeah, it's not going to be good. Either way, lots of water. Lots of lag, apparently, as well. Wow. Huge frame drop. I hope you like 21 frames a second. Oh, I hope you like 20 frames a second. 19. Oh, she's dropping. 18. Yeah, okay. So that's apparently an issue now. 17, 16. Come on. It's like a... It's like a Saturn V countdown. 15, 14, 13. Um, we, are on, we are on 13. Can you please stop making my frames go to absolute... Ah, uh, right. So that's that. Um, thank you, th thank you for the for the for the, for the frame drop uh, pause. You can now go away now. There we go. So they're gonna they're gonna get back into their lagging truck and uh, head off. And oh, there we go. Yay! Once a, once the water dissipates, <laughs> we're fine. Once the water dissipates, everything is just dandy. Right. Let's just get the uh, the walls put back in because uh, we do have a little bit of an issue there, as in the, the walls don't exist in a lot of places. And as you can see, we've got water pumping stations and stuff like that that we probably need to fix sooner or later. Oh, that, that power plant is 100% damaged. Generally classed as broken then, yes. Oh, and then for some reason, the best way to get the people out, the visitors, is just to 
just send them through the debris. Yeah, uh, excuse me, um, can you tell me which the way out of the facility is? Yeah, no problem. Uh, you just go down the corridor, you take your first left into the into the storage area, and then your first right into the room that smells a lot like smoke, and then you climb over the capacitors which may have a charge still left in them, so don't touch them, and then uh, just climb over the rubble that might be on fire still, and then you're out, no problem at all. What? Can, can I not just go elsewhere? No, 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 that's, that, that's the way. Um... <laughs> Yes, I can't imagine that being the overall conversation. Anyway, so it looks like the uh, power is still in need of... Uh, well, we're still in need of uh, power connections here because it has burnt the power connections. It hasn't burnt the pipe, I'm guessing because it's a simulation of ceramics being uh, a lot... Uh, no, but they've been able to withstand uh, high temperature. Or the game is just does, just doesn't burn piping for some reason, but it does do electrical cable. Anyway, um, in terms of staff morale, you can see it's on 34% again. Ooh, dear, oh dear. Um, come on, prioritise this, please. I actually want some power here. And cook! Go! There we are. Right, so, that guy is actually washing furiously. Look at that, he's uh, washing all of these in here. And then he might drop them off to these two. Uh, we do actually have uh, this put in now, I think. Yeah, look, some people are actually in. So we do have some new... People. Let's just have a quick look at our new inmates. So we'll go to informants and we can see we've got a couple of tough fellows. Uh, just have a quick look around. There's some new people in here. Some traits that we don't know, but they're not hopefully of any great importance. No. In terms of gangs, we have seven red gang members, five green, three blue. So it looks like one of the gang members has actually gone down and oh, that's interesting. That's, you can see there's actually a bit of control there. It's not an order control. Like It's not being ordered to take it. It's just people going there. Because we still don't have any gang leaders. And that's, on, that's one thing that's been um, asked a couple of times in the comments. Um, asking if I can force in gang leaders and uh, other such things. Yes, we can do that. That, 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 is, that isn't a problem. That'll be probably the, uh, the fight E episode later on uh, in the series. When we do uh, another, when we've expanded, uh, basically, we'll then we'll probably do something like that because it'll be quite interesting. Anyway, so we still have for some reason no guards uh, on patrol because we've got a twenty percent, we've got twenty percent of our our guards on break. Oh, not guards, actually twenty percent of our staff on break. You can see, there's several of them. Uh, these do have trays, so they can eat, which is why the staff morale is only just going up. But uh, we've got a couple of trays there as well. Look, they are all eating and such. So. Yeah, I think it is just a staffing issue. It's just the sheer amount of stuff that's there. This is why having prison labour in the kitchen is not necessarily a terrible idea. It's not a bad idea at all, actually. I could have people work there. It's very simple. You just put a uh, probably a door there and a door there, and then they have to go around this way. And you have all this section as just prisoner access but then you've also got access to storage and it's a little bit close to the door for my liking so don't think we're gonna go down that way still building this but we do have more prisoners which is good and also we've got 17 grand which is fantastic obviously we've been getting a bit of money every time we have a new intake and also we're now getting nearly two grand for daily cash flow which is fantastic now we'll have to be careful here because there'll probably be um i want to do a shakedown but we just can't we just can't i'm very surprised at the lack of guards that are free. So I'm just going to hire a couple more. And even then, look, it's zero. Wow. Zero. So 30 are patrolling, 6 doing jobs, 14 on break, and 35 need a break. Oh, my God. Right. So because they haven't been fed over the last couple of days, I think I've figured it out. So I mentioned earlier about the... About we had three eat times and because of that I don't think when we only had 10 uh, cooks as well I don't think they've had enough time to um, wash all of the stacks and trays uh, stacks of trays rather so that means that this hasn't then been refilled so all of our staff have then gone hungry and because of that because it's been building up and up and up and why was that guy eating a door this guard here she was eating a door for a moment there I don't know if you saw that but I'm pretty sure that was the case. Anyway, because we've had this need build up, this this hunger need, this one here, 
food need. Um, what's happened is it's it's built up and up and up to a sort of critical mass. And because only 20% can go on break, now as soon as they can go on break, they will go on break. Which is why we've not had any free guards. Because as soon as they can go on break, they will go and they will meet their needs. But now, it's slowly catching up, which is why we'll start getting some more uh, guards. I think that is the... I think that is the reason. But we'll see. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned as well that uh, we have a very, very dirty prison. And you are right. I'm just going to hire two more uh, cleaners and one more gardener. I don't think we really need the gardener, but we might as well just keep it as the same ratio. We're still getting two grand per day, which is pretty good. We have not yet finished this off, but it is getting close. Getting close. It's probably just one or two bits of pipe, you know. Yeah, there's just this little bit of pipe here. And then you'll see all this go bring and then be completed. It wouldn't make a bring noise, but, you know, why not? Um, and then, for some reason, it hasn't increased the water to the end there. And I'm just not even, not even entirely sure why. But we do have cold water in a lot of these places now. So we can flush the toilet, we flush the loo, and also we're just finishing off the... Uh, the hot water stuff, which if we look in intelligence, no, uh, logistics, temperature, you can see it is quite warm. Excellent! That is good. We also do need to do the chapel in the shop at some point as well because it is really cold in there. But that'll be a next episode jobby because uh, we're pretty much done here. So, that is a another cell block completerated. That is good. We could either go for a workshop or we could go for a another cell block. I am leaning towards workshop simply because it gives us something different to do and also we'll get the mail room put in as well and that will require us probably to expand the power station but it's not a big task. Either way we will progress on. As always hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.